Hey, bro. You remember me? I played the cello. Yeah. You got me a... I was trying to get you money, but you gave me something. Dude, I got cigarettes. Do you want some cigarettes? Do you smoke? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you saved me that other time. Yeah, any time you have to I am such a bad time. You know the you know the shell up there, the shell station on the corner across from yeah. Mackenzie? Yeah. I I have an issue, you know, I'm living out of my car, right? But I know where to park and I never I never mess with them and I always keep the you know, the bathroom clean. And they start kicking me out. And they, they blamed it because someone, I guess, went in there, smoked meth or something. I was like, I don't care. I, I, it was just that they were getting me in trouble. And, and I, I, I can't get kicked out because I, 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 I really need to use the bathroom, man. I mean, it's just that they're doing that shit to me. And someone came who worked there and said, oh, no, it's a different guy. Actually told them, no, 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 it's no way that it was him, and don't you see, he's always coming, he's, he just cleans out his car, do you know what I mean? I, I've been coming there for 20 years, and they suddenly just, I guess they were going to get in trouble, and they, they didn't want to clean the bathroom or something, and so they called the cops, and it turned into this big scene, I'm sorry, my, I, I don't, I, I I, the last people I started talking like this, they just walked away. Are you that kind of ear? Oh, dude, I thought so. Oh, bro. What's your name again? I'm sorry. Dave? I knew it was Dave, yeah. Dave, you showed me the trick there. The last time I saw you, I hadn't thought. I, I have trouble, like, you know, um, getting places to charge my phone. And, 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 and you showed me um, the um, socket, right? What's it called? Electric socket. Anyways, yeah, so they, they bring in the cops. The cops do the thing, well, you have to just go over there where it's public. And they're getting away with it. And, and they were using this lie that they were proven that it wasn't me. But they looked at these cops and they said, no, he was smoking again. That's the whole thing is that they, and they did it because I filmed them. So I know they did something wrong. And I just showed, like, the normal people, I thought, over there, the film of the actual incident of them harassing me and me going, dude, I got mental illnesses. You can't... I'm not the only one. There's others coming through here. Mackenzie Park, dude, right? We're all through over there, the dog park. We all hang out there. Do you know Dave, other Dave, tall guy? Uh, he's always got, like, a hat, fancy hat and stuff. Do you know, do you know this, Dave? Yeah, yeah. You got a light? Yeah. yeah. Anyways, thanks for being, just listening, man. Uh, so you, you've probably gone through something like that, right? Mm, actually, no. No? no? Yeah. So they don't, like, here, they don't bother you? And, like, say, you got to move over here? Because they're moving. When you have a car... Damn, I wish I didn't have the car. It's such a hassle. The cops are on me all the time, and I can't register. You know what I mean? So it's a, they see it every time, and I have to always go, okay, I'll be in a week. But here, I ran out of shell stations. They just, now they're on the camera. They'll get a call, and they'll be like, get out of there, 7-Elevens. I've been here since I was a kid in this town. And during the COVID, they just trashed us all. I lost in humanity. When I saw these three guys just walking away to me, oh, I got something else to do. Because I started to tell them, oh my God, what do you think? How do you feel? Am I wrong? I was trying to figure out, was I the bad guy? Were they? And they're just like, well, and I heard them laughing, you know? I do that to people. You want to smoke a joint? Oh. All right. See, I'm going to share with you. I'm not going to share with those people.
<laughs> All right, enough. What about you? <laughs> well, you got a story? Yeah. Started off growing up. Yeah. Small trailer park. Yeah. Here, a little bit of basketball, a lot of fishing, definitely a lot of exploring. Oh, what was that? Like here. Yeah. I moved over here a couple of years ago. Took it better up because it's very big on the Peters video games. Right on. Huh? Yeah. Well, so, right. man. You must, right. Yeah. It must be hard to not have, right? Because there's no computer games left. The other time when I saw you do that, I mean, I just saw you. You were reading the dollar bill. I thought you were counting, but I saw you were reading, and I'm like, dude, why won't why we should get you a book? You know, I, yeah, I should. I might have a. Do you, do you like to read? Could, do, do you want a good book? Because I got a funny book or something in my car or something, in magazines or something. I'll too. be okay. Thanks. You be okay? Yeah. All right. I just want to make sure because. stuff so bad dude. I'm supposed to be on meds. If I if I if there wasn't this, like I said, this kind of stuff that happened to me it, it makes me go, you know, the wrong way. I don't go to the hospital or anything but that yeah. since I was a kid so I was just not good. Oh Right. Oh, I right. do the same thing. Doesn't even hurt. I had this since yeah. I was a kid. Stopped growing. It was a. Uh, what did you do? Like a bike action or something? No. Just still cancer. Oh no. But it's been since I was a kid. Well since over. Since a kid. Well over ten years hasn't grown. Doesn't hurt. So you're but the baddest. You're 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 kicking it. Well, that's awesome. Thanks. I needed to hear that. I'm always feeling like, you know, like we can let our body take mm-hmm. over. Yeah. And, and, and we're the ones making our sick in our heads saying, oh my God, you know, this is going to happen. And I think it's because people say like, oh, this is where the cancer is going to be. Or this is where, where I think it's just, it's the unknown. Kind of like COVID. Like, Nobody really knows. started out and uh, well, let's start it out and give you the rest, okay? But um, I got tested, so I don't have COVID, just so you know, and I made the mistake, I, I have half of the vaccination in me, so I just want you to know, you know, some people get all the like, food, like they were there, they were like up to there. Looking at mm-hmm. uh, Oh, no. mm-hmm. yeah. I know. I've seen it myself, and you know, I'm one of the fortunate ones. Uh, I I grew a natural immunity to it. Oh, oh to, to COVID. Well, yeah, no. Well, me too. I knew it. I knew it. But my mama, 
she she wants I haven't seen her for two years and I've been telling her I I don't have it you can't get it that way what are you doing let me in the house she, you know she's not so she's like I won't see you unless you get this vaccination so she my personality if you keep telling me to do something I was like well yeah if they give it to me free if they throw it at me and I go inside the CVS and they're like hey we have extras would you like it and then I go okay yeah this way I'll do it and and she calls me right there they have that the mamas they know she calls and she's like I go you should be happy I'm getting the vaccination she's right away which one is it you know not happy whatever I answer I was like I don't know it would have been like well it was the wrong one I'm getting the wrong one but good you know whatever so I'm like thanks and I had such a bad reaction to it when, it, when they did it it turned out my blood pressure was like like crazy and I went and checked my machine because I have high blood pressure right I check on they have a machine it's the only place I can't afford those machines to check it I check it, it says all these numbers, 300 over, just, you, I should be dead, it's a stroke. I'm looking at these pharmacists going, should I be getting this vaccination? This is scary, and they're just like, one of them's just like, I don't know, what's hypertension, right? And then the other one's going, ah, oh, that machine hasn't been working for months. So you see, this is CVS, it's a chain. That means everywhere it's the same. It means they don't care it, that I went, oh, oh, you don't worry, you know? And, and then I had the bad reaction. So for three days, I couldn't move my arm and the pain went here and my mind's going, my mama killed me. You know, I didn't have the COVID. CVS put the COVID in, you know, the whole thing. Yeah. And you know, no, it's fine, but three days. And, and I look up, like, online, what is this that I have? And the government, it says, well, it, you have two bad reactions. One of them is if it'll feel like you worked out lightly and you're sore the next day. And I'm like, no, if you're lightly working out, you won't be sore. So, And the other says, or it'll feel like somebody beat you up. Now you go, well, who? I mean, was it that time with that, ooh? Or was it when my dad just went like that? You know, that's, right? Isn't it funny how words are communication? And that's how they're being like, don't worry. That's a side effect and it can be so much, uh, just in the head. Yeah, anyways. All that because my doctor says, my autism was brought on by being vaccinated in the 70s as a kid here. You see? I also have lead that somebody put in my hand. You know, a lead pencil. These are all signs of... Is this yours? Are these all signs of... Uh, yeah, whatever. Let's get more mystical. You got anything spiritual to tell me before I leave? Dead. Don't rush it, man. You got just just the eyes. It's fine. Man. This is one good thing about the COVID. That this restaurant, right? It never really worked anymore left this prime. I'm missing his little sly. Remember the pizza place? Do you remember the place on the corner? It was, they used to do slices. So you could buy one slice for three bucks. No, it was close before I got here. Oh. Yeah, that was the first COVID casualty. It was the slices. It's like, yeah, we can't do that. They told us not to do that. We can't let you use the bathroom. That was the first time my friend and he knew I was doing Lyft, like I was part of the thing. DoorDash, you know, you do, do deliveries. Suddenly, they, you get there. They don't want you to use the bathroom, but they want you to wash your hands. Wasn't everyone saying, wash your hands? And I'm bringing someone food. 
and you know me. But COVID was just like, and I would make fun of him because he would use it. And every time he'd come out, I'd just go like this. Oh, you get to, I'd film him. You get to use the bathroom. Why aren't we good? And you know, and it's all a joke for everyone. You do the presto pasta. They don't even let, they don't let anyone, even clients, use the bathroom. But you work there. So you would think, are you supposed to wash your hands to cook? Isn't that weird? I should just get over it, right? <laughs> that was what you wanted to tell me. Thanks, Dave. Oh, thank you. Wow. All right. I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess up your, your aura, yeah, your vibe. Dave, but I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to play some music if you're around. you going to be here? We'll see. All right. Peace, man. All right. I went from having one incident to another. Yeah, I am losing it. Telling you, I'm glad that the train tracks are way over there, but the freeway. Hey, you got Snoop Dogg. Oh, yeah. Hey, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I thought you were someone else. Do you got, do you got the Snoop Dogg's new, new, new red one? Where? Oh, is it? It's a freak show. Um, it's a wine done by the Snoop Dogg. Oh, that freak show? Freak show? Yeah, I scared your friends away. Oh, dude, that's it the experiment? I started to explain what really happened, the truth, right? And they just for a couple seconds, and they were like, all right, well, we gotta go. And then they were walking away, they were laughing. Well. I'm buying something, so you have to, you know, until I pay you and stuff, you have to talk to me. You can't walk away. No. Look at that look. Oh, God. Are you married? Do you have a lover? I it's do. not for me. It's for, do you know who, how far this, this viral video is going? I bet it's going pretty far. <laughs> yeah, you walked away from the, the minute... 30 video there. What did you think? Was it my fault? That's all I'm asking. Was, was, was I the one at fault in that situation? I don't know. I don't know the whole story. 10, 15, 16, 17. Well, I thought I started to tell him the whole story, and they, that's what made him walk away. Right. It's part of the experiment. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And they didn't thumbs up it either. I, I put it and I said, hey, push the thumbs up button. And they, were, they walked away. Isn't that interesting? You tell someone to do something, they don't want to do it. <laughs> Weird. They don't take orders. Bye. Have a good day. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Bond. Yeah. You want to see? There's that Jaeger. Bond in the USA.
I was born in the USA. I was born. I guess. I guess I was. If everyone just looks at me, they don't know what story. I don't know the story. And I think I explained it in a bunch of videos. The ones who don't know the story at all, thumbs down it, but that's for, we already know the reasons. We know who the thumbs downers are. We, we took our medicine. If you guys didn't see it work, then you don't understand cannabis. And for the Slabsidians, if you're still following me, that's what that stuff was. Tell me if you want me to send you some of that. I was planning to get close to you guys, Slab City, but I was gonna go down to LA and meet up with this Scott on tape. But of course, nobody put in even one dollar. The one dollar would have maybe, I don't know, I would have gone, you know, done some tricks somewhere in town, you know? Got dressed up. But I couldn't get that one dollar. I couldn't get the thumbs up actually showing them. I was showing them that one minute half video that I've been talking about like for weeks right now. But nobody knows what the story is and they walk away and go, oh, it must be me. Yeah, okay. So it is my fault. Wow. I'm guilty. All right. I'm guilty. I'll probably have to go pay something. And yeah, I'll go get some help. <laughs> yeah, I'll go get some help. I'll start a new channel. It's gonna be so different. Now, it's going to be different after the viral video that nobody seems to get the, the thing. I have to be dead. It's going to happen. You've seen everything I've done just happen like it's true to life. But I'm telling you, no, 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 it's a movie. These are all extras. They're really good extras. Born in the USA. No, I believe that Slab City has been telling me, dude, just make your freak flag, get your ass over there and just, I'll find, you know, four square miles where there's nobody and, and, and I'll scream and I'm sure the tribe will just come and save me. That's all I'm saying. I don't know, you know, the tribe, and you guys seem to be leaving there. So you're gonna be all over the place. I'm just saying, wherever you guys are running away to, please keep me informed, all right? Remember, it's the WTF experiment, but it's a, it's a soap opera. It's the only one on YouTube that is the actual reality is happening here. Shh. Don't talk about it. <laughs>